Come on, I know this isn't live. What's up guys, Jason here, Spying Entrepreneur. And in this video, we are going to be putting EverWebinar on the shopping block. So this is video number two in a quick little series I'm doing for you guys, reviewing EverWebinar and helping you make the decision to see if EverWebinar really is a good automated solution for your webinars. So with that being said, this is gonna be all negative, top three reasons why EverWebinar just kinda sucks. We are just going to dive in. Reason number three has to do with the way they encode the videos or lack thereof. The One of the biggest issues I found with EverWebinar comes to how they handle the video itself. And here's what I mean. Number one, on mobile, the interface just doesn't seem to work right. I had this problem with ClickFunnels as well. Uh, however, I did not have this problem with Stealth Seminar, which is another big, which is a big competitor of Ever Webinar. And here's what I mean: when someone goes to the, your automated webinar on mobile, it doesn't always format right, and in some instances, the video will actually not autoplay. Like it'll just sit there, and you'll have to click. Your person will have to click to play it, which is a big deal if you want people to think that it's live. Which brings me to part two of reason number three here, and that is the video is essentially just embedded on a page. I mean, I think it's awesome that EverWebinar actually hosts everything for you. It doesn't force you to, or tell you that you could have a great webinar experience on your WordPress site. I think that's a little ridiculous. However, when the video is embedded, it's clear that it is just a video sitting there. And here's what I mean. I have a cool little plugin that allows me to speed up videos. Now there are a lot of different plugins that allow people to download videos, manipulate videos. And so some of your more savvy viewers, if I can call myself that, will instantly know that it's just a video embedded on a page. In fact, I've had webinars where I just, I can speed up the thing three or four X and then I can watch the whole entire webinar and then the chat feature, the automated chat feature that goes on the side is still playing catch up. And then, you know, I just let it play until the offer shows up an hour later, even though it took me 30 minutes to watch the webinar because I sped through it. Now, most of your viewers probably aren't going to be doing that. However, until ever webinar actually goes through the extra effort of encoding your video and somehow streaming it in a way that really ensures that it looks live like stealth seminar which you cannot do those kind of shenanigans with i think it's going to fall short when compared to stealth seminar on the viewing experience especially when it comes to your savvier people who can instantly see because of a plugin that it's just a video sitting there or they're trying to view it via mobile which brings me to number two and this deals with the email integration now, I was sorely, sorely disappointed when I found out that unless you pay a developer to make your own API integration or you're using ActiveCampaign or Infusionsoft, EverWebinar really just has a one-way communication with your autoresponder. And this is what that means. Essentially, when someone signs up for your webinar, they're put in the EverWebinar software and they can be put in your autoresponder software. That is the last time these two talk to each other. If you want EverWebinar to tell your autoresponder who showed up, who didn't show up, or who left halfway through, if you need want those kinds of what I would consider basic integrations, I mean, at le the very least, you wanna know who showed up and who didn't. You actually have to manually export a show up, not show up list for each webinar and then add it to you know whatever autoresponder you have. And that kind of defeats the purpose of the whole auto in autoresponder. So that's a big, big drawback. And other softwares like Cell Seminar, which I'm gonna kind of keep comparing it to, actually does offer that type of integration. Uh, it's an extra 50 to $100 a month, depending upon you know your service, but at least it's there. Whereas EverWebinar, it was not. You had to be using ActiveCampaign or Infusionsoft, which are kind of on the higher end of autoresponders, and most of us aren't playing with those when we're just getting started. And that leads me into number one. And this isn't necessarily EverWebinar's fault as much as EverWebinar's users and abuse, but hey, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. People are catching on, right? This whole fake webinar, live webinar thing is starting to become a joke, right? Because especially in the you know business niche where so many people are using it, users are starting to figure out the difference between a live webinar and a recorded 
new webinar. And so this might not be a big deal for you. Maybe you're in a niche that hardly uses webinars, so you're good to go for now. But just keep in, keep in mind, the more you do it and the more your competitors do it, the more savvy your marketplace is going to become to the fact that this webinar isn't necessarily live. So how do you solve that problem? This is kind of outside the review. Just don't pretend that it's live. Really, just don't pretend that it's live. You can say you it's totally okay to say, hey, I have a webinar coming up at X date or time. Check it out, right? And when you go to a landing page and you sign up for a free webinar and you have like seven different options to choose from, you know for a fact the presenter isn't you know doing seven webinars within the next 24 hours. That's ridiculous. Nobody has that kind of time and nobody's getting that kind of, oh, well, I shouldn't say nobody. Hardly anyone gets that kind of return on their time just doing webinar after webinar after webinar, especially when you're doing the pr same presentation over and over and over again, right? So that's just something to keep in mind is just don't try and make it free, but at this uh, free live, don't try and make it live, keep it free, but don't try and make it live. And at the same time, be cognizant of what other people are doing in your marketplace, because just because you're being upfront with people or just because you do a really good job with your webinar or, you know, tricking people into thinking that it's a live webinar with all the chat timings and and whatnot, just keep in mind that people really are starting to catch on and the effectiveness of these, I think, are dropping and will continue to drop as more and more people realize what's actually going on in the back end. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative and actionable. If you got some value out of it, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe. And once you've hit that subscribe button, comment below on your opinion of automated webinars. I'm curious why you are leaning towards automated webinars versus live webinars. And if you think point number three about people catching on is true or not, I'm curious what your experience has been or what you think your experience is going to be when you start doing webinars. And make sure to check out the channel because over on the channel, in addition to web tech reviews like this one and which softwares to use, I also have a tremendous amount of content on Facebook marketing, you know, setting up your pixels correctly and everything digital marketing to set up your business from scratch and of course market your products and services online. So I look forward to seeing you over there with fellow aspiring entrepreneurs. So until the next video, keep building the business you love. Take care.